Hi, library friends. Lynn, the librarian here today, and I have another great story to share with you. But before we do that, let's do our hello song. And I know you remember how it goes because we do it all the time, but let's do it again. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Sing, children, sing. That was called a rhythm or a beat. So I'd like to see if you guys can think of your own rhythm or beat. I'm listening. Let's see if I can hear. Oh, somebody said, clap our hands. You want to clap your hands with me? Let's do it. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Sing, children, sing. Wow, you guys are really good at this. Should we do one more? Okay, I'm listening. I hear someone say, pat our heads. Great one. Let's do that together. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Sing, children, sing. And now it's time for our super duper tricky one. Are you ready? We're going to sing in a whisper and we're going to clap our hands without making any noise. It's kind of tough, but I know you can do it. All right. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Sing. Children, sing. Great job. The book we're reading today is called You Are a Beautiful Beginning by Nina Layden and illustrated by Kelly Garrity Riley. It's not the number of pages. It's the story in the book. It's not how far you traveled. It's the journey that you took. It's not remembering the lyrics. It's singing a song in your heart. It is not creating a masterpiece. It is finding the courage to start. It is not knowing all the answers. It is listening to what others say. It is not about winning the game. It is having fun while you play. It's not making the most friends. It is loving the one who is there. It is not owning everything. It is bringing something to share. It is not being a hero. It's being part of the team. It is not putting up walls. It's about building a dream. It is not hogging the sunshine. It is helping others to grow. It is not being afraid of darkness. It is looking for places that glow. It is not wishing to be different. It is learning to love being you. It is not the end of your story. It's a beautiful beginning, too. I just love this book so much. It made me feel so good inside reading it to you, and I hope it made you feel good inside when I read it to you. These were important words, and we got to remember them. So please, 
check it out and, and um, take a look at it yourself with your family. We also have this awesome craft that goes along with it. If you visit my blog post at Library Connect, I'll show you how to build a house very similar to the one that they built in this book. It's called a little nature house, or you can call it a fairy house or a gnome house, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Maybe you'll get lucky if you built one and somebody will move in. But I just went around my neighborhood and I picked up stuff that I found. I found sticks and I found um, dried flour and seed heads and I just created this, this really neat little house. And at, in Ashland, we're going to be giving out take and makes with some of the stuff to start you on a, this project. Um, so feel free to stop by. But in the meantime, um, just look around your neighborhood and see what kind of stuff you might be able to find to build your own nature house. So that was our story time. Let's do our goodbye song. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, a jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Remember, you are a beautiful beginning. Bye.